Hello. I made a mistake here and I discovered it looking at a new angle. Now, I still do believe this bow is real, that's what makes most sense to me, best sense to my sense of understanding, not just reinforced by my own perspective, but also my training partners, my coaches, friends. I don't like to reinforce my thoughts with only my own perspective, I'm constantly looking to hear from others, I read every comment, even the negative ones, and for the most part, with the people in my life, alongside my perspective forged from all these influences, I still believe this bow is real. You know, maybe I'm wrong, I am open to that, but going over the information, I still believe this to be true. Now, here, I made a mistake. I'm sorry guys, I was wrong. I thought Floyd Mayweather's right hand landed when it did not. It missed. But still, if I believe this bow was real, what hurt Tenshin Nasakawa? Looking at this new angle, it starts to make a little more sense. It was the first shot behind the ear, the lead hook, that caused tension to fall like this. Now, rabbit punches, intentional strikes behind the ear are actually not allowed in both boxing and mixed martial arts, as the risk of cervical damage could permanently affect an athlete's career, or even worse. Plus, the area surrounding is much softer than the rest of the skull, the occipital bone, softer and softer, the further you get behind the head. In this region, we may find the occipital lobe, responsible for vision, the cerebellum, responsible for motor functions like breathing, your heart beating, and voluntary movement like waving hello. Sorry, let me fix that. Hello! Overall, getting touched in the softer area is prohibited for a reason. And the response is pretty expected whenever it happens. One day, you're perfectly fine but you get clipped behind the ear and your hand-eye coordination is a little off. Your body isn't listening to your will the same way it usually does. Of course, it varies between the individual, but I've had cervical damage myself and to say the least, it's not fun. Now, of course, I do not believe this was on purpose. It just kind of happened as tension sought to duck as he hoped to roll it off shoulder. The lead hook just kind of made its way there. But the way his feet just left him as the bigger veteran boxer wound up, heavily stepped into, then clipped this softer area, it's very normal for tension to look confused as his legs just stopped working, just leaving under him. The pieces of the puzzle start coming together. He was conscious, but his body malfunctioned, which is actually pretty common, taking brain stem or cervical damage. They are prohibited areas for a reason. Any good ref who saw you rabbit punching intentionally, or even catches it accidentally, he would tell you to stop. Here, notice how the hand clips behind the ear. The boxer is awake, but his body just doesn't respond properly. It's a really weird feeling, as if your will feels the same, but something's not right. Your body does not respond the same way it normally would to your will. This is a more extreme case of what had happened. I hope this makes a little more sense, but piecing it together, this angle further reinforced what I believed was true. This area has led to many weird reactions, both intentionally and accidentally. Watching Tension's confused face as his feet just left him and just the trouble he had getting back up. Whether you still believe it is real or fixed, one thing remains true. This reaction when getting struck with a rabbit punch is not out of the question. Something that is not out of the ordinary. Now onto a new topic. What do you guys think of this? Conor McGregor wants an exhibition with Tenshin Nasakawa. I believe in both boxing or mixed martial arts. When you pair that with Conor's experience, mass, power, and anatomical advantage, I would definitely still watch it, but it would likely be much worse than what Floyd did versus Tenshin. Kickboxing though, that is a different animal. What do you guys think? Because that appears to be the idea Tenshin is pushing forward. How do you think that would pan out? MindSmash has an Instagram. Please follow it if you'd like to show me some love. Subscribe and hit the notifications if you'd like more from me. Thank you if you did. It really does help the channel. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. It's good karma. And until next time. Peace.